Okay, what about the self-driving computer chip? The self-driving computer that um, Tesla has custom designed. This came out of the autonomy day the other day. Another one of my follow-up videos. I've got a few of them on the channel here. Okay, Tesla said it's so great. It does so many teraflops, I can't even remember, but it was significantly higher than anything that's been in the cars and even what I have now. What I have now is I have the original chip. I have the original thing because I didn't even get the 2017 update. My car was built in 2017 in February. I've got the one that was in the car since 2012, Model S, and it's not designed to do any of this crap. You know, it didn't even have AP2, so I cannot wait to upgrade. But they are saying that the custom design of the chip is so much better, and then Intel has fired back and said, no, they're not supposed to be comparing that chip to our other higher line chip and that actually is more powerful than Tesla's. And then you take a double, take a step back and you're like, wait a minute, who's right? Is Elon just making this stuff up? But then you realize, hey, what, what's the biggest problem with the self-driving cars I got from Autonomy Day was that it's gonna increase power usage by 25% with Tesla's new chip, the, the, the Autopilot 3.0 setup. And that's huge, increase by 25% eating up your battery and then you realize why it's because of the higher wattage of the computer all this computing power takes electricity so so with all the electricity comes the power usage and what does intel's chip do in terms of power right that's how that's how you'd really compare it. if the if the higher even if the higher line chip is similar in processing power how much electricity does it consume and that's where the difference is we find out that Intel's chip is like four times as much electricity, okay, <laughs> or something like that. Three times? If you have the exact figure, let me know. The exact figure isn't important. What's important is that there's a dramatic difference between the power usage, and that's why Tesla went and custom designed their system, like Elon said, for use in electric cars, not for use in anything else, and it all makes sense. So the, you know, the, the press has been all over the place on this. This is what's really going on. It's more efficient because that's the big Achilles heel here of self-driving, I think, is the amount of power it's gonna to consume to do all these incredibly intense and significant arithmetic operations that are needed constantly in order to have this self-driving thing work and be accurate. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe. Be sure to hit that bell for notifications, and I will see you in the next video. And maybe I'll have my new computer by then. Who knows? Can't wait.